my first questionnaire that was that I did on learning styles was completed in 2002, as I was the administrator for the Catholic Cyber School. As ex as explained in 2002, I was a I was a one on the active side of the active reflective scale, a seven on the intuitive side of the sensing and intuitive scale, an 11 on the visual side of the visual verbal scale, and an 11 on the global side of the sequential global scale. At that time, the results of the questionnaire were more a reflection of my role as an art teacher with a phys ed degree than it was as an administrator for the cyber school. On February the 8th, 2009, I did the questionnaire again. This was after I had been the administrator for the Saskatoon Catholic Cyber School for about eight years. The results of the questionnaire was a 7 on the reflective side, on the active reflective scale, a 7 on the intuitive side of the sensing intuitive scale, a 9 on the visual side of the visual verbal scale, and a 9 on the global side of the sequential global scale. The only change to the my learning style was a lean more towards the reflective side of the active reflective scale, which might be a result of the need to reflect upon de decisions made to create, recreate and analyze a cyber school. And as an art teacher, Let's try it out and see how it works method is a good artistic approach, but it doesn't work well as an administrator. The sensing intuitive scale results were identical in the two tests. Leaning towards the intuitive side would explain the author's preference, myself, my preference, for innovation, new concepts, and abstracts of using this new approach to education. The visual verbal scale results showed a very strong leaning towards the visual, which might explain being an art teacher for 17 years of, the, of my career. In, this role, in, a, in my role as the administrator for the cyber school, it would account for my push to get all the teachers and designers to include images, graphics, d diagrams, sketches, schematics, photographs, flowcharts, and other visual supports for the predominantly text-based courses, courses which we normally consider to be our online courses. The sequential global scale results were and still are very strong on the global side. As the administrator for the cyber school, this global approach has been supported by many strong sequential learners for the step-by-step -step development of the program. This support has allowed the, myself to plan the overall vision of the cyber school while leaving the step-to-step -step of the cyber school to others. Perhaps by luck and good planning, the staff, which was appointed to create the cyber school, showed a diverse number of learning styles. This range created a synergy within the original cyber school group, which helped ensure that the course development included teaching methods which touched on many of the learning styles. As confirmed by Feldman and Brent, variety in assignment is also a cornerstone of recommendations for addressing the full spectrum of learning styles with some problems emphasizing practical considerations and requiring careful attention to de details and others call for theoretical interpretation and math mathematical modeling while some individual efforts and others require teamwork, or teamwork and so on. It might be one of the reasons this, the cyber school courses have shown a remarkable sex success rate in comparison to many of the text-based online courses, or it might be something totally different. But knowing that the staff's learning styles did make it easier for myself as administrator to understand why as a team the diversity was something to be embraced and not fought against. In the long run, it resulted in stronger courses.